G'day and welcome back to the channel. Something quite exciting I spotted on X, formerly known as Twitter. It's from Jordi Minoz. Uh, Minoz? I don't know how you pronounce his name. I just murdered his name. Anyway, he says, Meet Hack FPV, a low latency module that can do 0.8 gigahertz to 4.5 gigahertz, which is 800 megahertz to 4.5 gigahertz, up to 6 gigahertz with minor mods at will. Initial tests are promising, 10 kilometers, but we couldn't go further. We expect above 20 kilometers, by far the most challenging project I have been involved with, my true masterpiece. So who is uh, Geordie? Well, Geordie is an engineer and occasional aviator, co-founder of 3D Robotics Incorporated, and a founder of M Robotics, an engineering and manufacturing funhouse. So he says on his Twitter profile. So yeah, that's pretty interesting stuff. Now, this could be a bit of a game changer for the FPV hobby because we know that with DJI potentially being blocked from selling new gear, it could be that innovation in the FPV sector hits a bit of a brick wall because, well, if DJI can't sell into the USA, uh, you can't buy their FPV equipment. So we may be stuck at 03 if the Senate gets its way. So projects like this could be leading the way in FPV technology. Uh, one thing to consider in light of the recent, uh, what would you call it, mm, discussion on war and so forth, is what Chris Anderson says. Now, Chris Anderson, also from 3D Robotics in the old days, he says, my 3D Robotics co-founder is still going strong. This will be a game changer in Ukraine and in any other RF challenged environment. So there is obviously an application for this in a, an environment, a theatre of war, where you've got electronic countermeasures trying to break the link, the video link and the control link between FPV drones and their operators. Now, I don't think this is going to be an issue. I certainly hope that uh, that the gentleman who has developed this product, uh, Geordie, I certainly hope that he continues to work on it and commercializes it to the point, well, open source, I don't know what he's going to do, but maybe he'll commercialize it so that we have a path forward for FPV for the hobby. This would be fantastic. He says low latency. I don't know what that means because low is a fairly subjective term. If you're flying a camera drone, low latency can be 100 milliseconds. If you're flying FPV, you want 20 milliseconds or better. So we don't know. We just don't know. I have asked Mr. Minos the question, what is the glass-to-glass -glass latency in terms of milliseconds. I haven't had a response yet. Hopefully I do. But uh, this is kind of a light in the future, uh, which could offset, as I say, the fact that DJI FPV gear may no longer be available, at least in the USA. So there you go. Just keeping an eye on things for you. Wanted to keep you up to date. Thank you for your continued support of the channel. And now I'll go and make some more videos. Bye for now.